Award-winning singer-songwriter Julie Deans has recently released her second solo album, We Light Fire, and she's just about to take off on her nationwide album release tour. Her first solo album was released more than seven years ago. It earned her a Tate Prize nomination as well as an APRA Silver Scroll finalist spot. And we are expecting great things from this one as well. No pressure. Thank you so much for joining us, Julia Dean. <laughs> I didn't realise it was that long ago, seven years. Oh, yeah. Gosh, time flies, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> we know you really well, obviously. Um, you're the lead singer of Fur Patrol as well, iconic band. Um, have you always been doing the singing thing? Has that always been something that's been in your blood? Or when did you start? When did you get into it? Uh, yeah, there has, it has been. Um, I started, I guess, probably started singing more when my mum bought me a guitar when I was a, about 13 or 14 and immediately meant I could lock myself in my room and play, play you know, fiddle around rather than vying for lounge time with the, pia <laughs> you know, the piano versus the TV with my two siblings. Um, and, and did you know, when did you know you were good? Like first performance <laughs> came up to you and went, oh, you're really good. Can you remember that? Uh, no, I don't. No, I think I just really enjoyed it and um, just, I don't know, yeah, I guess Keep had going. encouragement from my friends. Nice, so, yeah, good. Because yeah. it's a really important thing to do, isn't it? Because especially in, in this country, to follow on and make it a career, it can be a really difficult choice because, yeah. you know, quite often it's, it's hard to make a living, isn't it? Yeah. When did you figure out that this was something that you could actually do? Um, I think I just kind of, I kind of fell into it, to be honest. I mean, I, I finished school and I moved to Wellington and I, with the intention of going to the jazz school up there, and I think I actually attended probably about three months of classes before I joined a touring band, and um, that was just way more fun. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of bands, because you had Banshee Reel, was it Banshee? Yeah, that was yeah. the band, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. And then there was Fur Patrol. Was that time with Fur Patrol? Because I remember it. I was doing radio. <laughs> that time with Fur Patrol. <laughs> I remember you, too. Because <laughs> I think we even swapped a, a Discman at some stage. <laughs> how long ago it was. Um, but was that a crazy time? Like, were you just loving it then? Was it amazing? Yeah, yeah. It just, it just felt natural. You know, it just uh, one thing led to another, and, and um, we just had that momentum that you know, carried it forward. And it's, it's somehow managed to carry me forward to this day. And now I don't know how to do anything else, so I'm just like blindly and doggedly moving. Ah, <laughs> and Love that's it. the way to do it. When I hear the song that we're playing now, it always just takes me instantly back to an amazing summer that I had when we come back oh, from Hong yes. Kong. We had this beautiful summer, and it was just so awesome. Oh. Love it. Straight back in. Oh, no, That's amazing. so nice. Right. That, that makes me feel really good. Um, so this album, We Like Fires, how's it different to your first solo one? Uh, it's kind of, uh, I think with the first uh, um, solo album, Modern Fables, I wrote it coming out of a really uh, big bout of depression. I, I don't think I'd ever been actually depressed before, and it was just sort of when Fur Patrol kind of was going through a, a whole lot of stuff and um, we kind of lost my love for music and didn't know what I was doing and then slowly started writing again to pull myself out of that and so most of the songs on that are kind of little come on come on <laughs> songs to me yeah. Yeah. They were therapeutic. Yeah. yeah and then um, when I was writing for We Light Fire I'd also been singing the songs of a um, Belgian singer called Jacques Brel um, and I, I think I was really inspired by his approach to what he sang about, you know, he sang about all the big life things, um, you know, uh, and wasn't afraid to tackle them head on. Um, and same with the so singing the songs of Joni Mitchell, which I was also mm. doing. Mm. Um, and just really wanted to turn my eye from the, th the stuff in my head to, you know, looking at the world in general and just, I think, yeah, trying to give a little, come on. To, the, well, to everyone else. Well, that makes sense, and you know, con congratulations, because what you've—I well, guess what you've done—is is music saved your life, really, hasn't it? Yeah, you know, yeah. You're, you're at rock bottom. Yeah. You, you use that to get through it, and now we've got an album, We Like Fires, which I guess is all about just living life and starting again. And Yeah, it's about being, you know, uh, the need to recognise each other and the fact that we are all human, and that by talking to each other and listening, you know, we can just, you know, 
hopefully, you know, we can make everything yeah. better. Yeah. yeah Stop yeah. and listen. Yeah. Just for that little bit, isn't it? It makes, yeah. it, it makes a huge difference. Um, now, you worked with your closely with your partner and your co-producer, David yes. Wordham, on this album. <laughs> so you've got a studio at home? Yeah, we turned the garage under our house into a, into a studio, which sort of is awesome. <laughs> so do, you, do you get out of bed in the morning and go, I'm going to go and create, and then you go down, downstairs and like, lock yourself in the garage? Oh, see, this is the thing about when you work at home is, um, you know, there's all that, especially because the studio is very dark. You know, there's no windows because it, you know, needs to be for soundproofing. Um, so that's like, oh, it's such a beautiful day. I might just do this. I better just, just check this email. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's happening on Facebook? To oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but it is great to have that space. Yeah. It's, it's, and yeah. you've been you've been working over the years and supporting a lot of Kiwi female artists. You're quite big on that. And your approach to the tour, you're going to be using a lot of female artists as well as guests. Yeah, yeah. Um, we well, the, uh, our crew, the whole the whole tour tour party is predominantly female. Awesome. I think it's about eighty percent, um, and uh, I think it's just a nice nice to sort of shift the balance. Um, I think you know there's so much discussion about what is causing gender disparity, and you know there's a lot of you know, sort of like oh it's because it's not a welcoming environment to women, or oh no it's because women just you know they've got better things to do, <laughs> and um, I think it's probably you know maybe it's a combination of both, but um, I, I do know that it can be a very male-dominated industry, which can be mm. really intimidating yeah. to women, especially if you're not bloody-minded, right. um, and so just trying to gather some data essentially by opening the doors. And, it does, yeah. it does take a certain <clears throat> amount of bloody mindedness to be in your industry and actually mm -hmm. achieve yeah. it. I, I, was, I saw a really interesting talk on that actually. Um, well we're really looking forward to your tour and it's always a pleasure having you on to chat. Thank you. Absolutely. Great. Now Julia <laughs> Dean's album is out now and her album release tour kicks off on Friday and she's going to take in, in 10 stops <laughs> in both the North and the South Island. Tickets are on sale now from Under the Radar or Ticketmaster. Yeah and go and have a listen to that album because that is beautiful. Yeah thanks Julia. Oh, Thanks, guys.